Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing a complete setup. It's going to be the Maytek F405 CTR connected to four Flycolor Raptor 30 amp ESCs as well as four 2306 2400 KV Emax motors. I chose these motors because they are the most noisy I've seen and they're very harsh on ESCs. Now, this test will consist of a couple things. We're going to have also the VTX connected as well as an FPV camera. We're going to be recording the FPV video feed. We're also going to be listening on the noise in the system through the oscilloscope, monitoring everything from throttle noise all the way to aggressive flight maneuver simulations. So enough talking and let's just jump to it. All right guys, so our first official test is complete. And uh, what we did is obviously, as you saw the Maytech with the fly color budget ESC. Now this is currently what we're looking at here is a throttle level noise test, which is 10% throttle, 25, 50% throttle, 75% throttle and 100% throttle. And same thing goes here, 10, 25, 50, 75, 100% throttle. Now on the right side, we have just the usual test with just one motor connected. And on the left, we have all four motors running at the same time. And this is what you're expected to see, at least with this ESC. Uh, I will be doing the Tico 32 and other ESCs uh, upcoming next on the channel. So we could take a look at this and see the difference we have. And also adding LC filters as well as low ESR capacitor. That might be my next video. But let's first test a Tico 32 before we jump into the low ESR possibly. So as we can tell here, it's kind of staying within the same range of what we get on one motor test which is very nice to see because usually most of them, all my tests have been consistent with what type of ESC we're getting. And now I'm just curious to see very bad ESCs and obviously get more data because this is just a new setup. Uh, I will still be doing the one, you know, one motor testing setup and I'll also be doing the four uh, ESC testing setups as well. So we can kind of get an idea of how they work in both ways. So if you, most of you are used to the one single ESC test, don't worry, I'll still have that. And I'll also be adding the four ESCs. So over here, I mean, it looks good, but that's all I could really say. I don't know how well this is going to perform. You obviously saw the video feed. The video feed might look like it has more noise than usual. Now it has a little bit of noise, but it's the vibrations that kind of make everything blurry. That's not the noise. So try to keep that in mind. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and check um, the throttle noise test. So let's go ahead and see that. The, not the throttle noise test, the, the simulated flight maneuvers. So this would be right here. This is when we did a single motor test. So let's put these right there. And let's go ahead and take a look at the four motors. How do they look like? So here we go. There we go. We obviously see not many spikes because the more the motors are, are sucking most of the amperage, which is very nice to see. Plus, this was a very good ESC compared to others. So as you can tell here, it's pretty consistent. It's pretty damn consistent. You actually even get a little bit better results here. Um, but, you know, you still have a little bit of more choppiness there. Here you get a couple straight good lines. But um, overall, it's pretty damn consistent with the tests we're getting. If not, a little bit better and a little bit worse. Uh, but no, it's it's uh, it's very nice to see this. This really makes me happy. I'm very curious how we're going to check out the solo good. Now, if many of you forgot how the solo good looks like, let me just show you. Um, this is one of like the newest worst ESCs I've seen and uh, here we're gonna bring it in real quick So this is just a single motor test. Look at the difference <laughs> That's crazy 
See? So the one I'm moving is the solo good, and obviously the fly color is uh the one on the right on the fly color is the single motor test, and the one on the left here is the fly color four motor test with the Maytag. So can you see this solo good ESC here? This is um this is gonna be pretty interesting. This is I, I have no idea what to expect. I can't wait to put it in, as you can tell here. It's also solo good in color, so you kind of figure out where most of the voltage is at most of the time. And um yeah, this is um this is just amazing. So so far I know for sure these ESCs are very good for the price, especially for the price. They they outperform a lot of other ESCs uh from the single motor tests that we've done. But now we're gonna be doing the four motor tests and see how well everything stacks up together. Um but overall I am very happy and satisfied and excited for this, and I truly do recommend this. ESC right here. If you haven't picked one up, I highly recommend check out the links down below. Pick some of these up as a backup, as a budget new budget quad because every once in a while they're going out of stock like crazy, uh, just because they're so good. And a lot of people will stand by them. I've got a lot of people who emailed me about them. So this is a very good, you know, like forty bucks for four really good ESCs, but they only take up to a four S. So take that into consideration. And I think that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. Our next videos will be like playing with um, checking for EMI, electromagnetic interference, with very bad ESCs. And uh, with good ESCs and seeing the kind of difference we see. We could pick up interference, which basically causes fail safes. That's what I mean. That's going to be hella interesting. Also, low ESR capacitors, the Banggood ones, and then just ones you can get from everywhere else. LC filters it just opened up a whole new bowl game for us here So this is gonna be very interesting and very fun and please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification So you don't miss out on the future testing <clears throat> And guys any help goes an absolute long way if you could click those links down below uh, Purchase anything you want it doesn't even you don't even have to purchase the same thing that'll really support the channel Or you can go ahead and check out my patreon. I do some awesome giveaways there and uh, you also get access to the secret shop on my website, which is pretty cool. I sell some of the things that I have for cheap just to keep the channel running. And um, there's just so many things, you know, over there. You can go ahead and check it out. Any, anything goes an absolute long way. I need all the support I could possibly get. And um, yeah, just expect more awesomeness. I, I really, I can't wait right now. I'm about to start with something else. I'm trying to brainstorm what should I do next. And obviously, let me know down in the comment section. i would be more than excited to hear and more than happy to see what you guys have in mind. And I think that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys like the new style. And uh, I really hope it helps someone out there. That's that's one of the most important things here. And, um, yeah. And I will see you next time, guys. So go ahead and check out my Patreon. That'd be super awesome. Or click the links down below. Get yourself something nice for Father's Day. And I will see you next time. Take care, guys. Enjoy.